Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of BitPlay's Risk of Rain. This is gonna be episode two, and in the last episode we actually unlocked a new character. So let's uh, let's give him a try this time. I'm actually only missing one character now. That's that's pretty exciting for me. I do know how to unlock him, and if we get to that f that far, then I will unlock him so we can play him in the next round. But I don't think we're gonna get that far, especially since I've never played as this character before. So let's see what his abilities are. Uh, let's read his little little bio first. Acrid deals huge amounts of damage after stacking poisons from his festering wounds, caustic sludge, and epidemic. Try to stun targets inside your caustic sludge for maximum damage. Remember that you can fight at both melee and range. Festering wounds maul an enemy for 120% damage. The target is poisoned for 24% damage per second. Neurotoxin spit toxic bile for 220% damage, stunning enemies in a line for one second. Caustic Sludge, Secrete Poisonous Sludge for 2 seconds, speeds up allies while slowing and hurting enemies for 90% damage, and Epidemic, release a deadly disease, poisoning enemies for 100% damage per second. The contagion spreads to 2 targets after 1 second. Let's give him a shot! So we're in the Desolate Forest. This is my uh, least favorite of the two starting, starting zones, my favorite one being the beach, or I guess it's called the Dried Lake. But uh, I just like the scenery better, you know? Okay, so this guy is pretty cool. So that's his that's his melee ability, I guess. And uh, that's his epidemic. This is his range spit move, and this is his sludge. Let's uh Let's see if we can't make wonders happen with him. I do want to get that 50 chest first, I guess. So let's uh let's Let's kill some guys. Save up for it. We're almost there anyway. I think uh Three more guys will give us enough money. Alright, that guy hurts. Let's sludge him. Yeah. And we are level three. We need one more gold before we can open that chest. And here's the teleporter. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to wait for one more enemy to spawn. And then we'll kill him for the gold for that chest. And then we'll activate the teleporter. And then we'll go get that chest. Or I can get that 25 chest. I'm definitely going to save for the 50. I'm almost there. So, Acrid seems pretty cool. I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to use him switching between melee and range. I mean, like, I'll probably just end up sticking with the melee attacks. But then I have the range to fall back on, I guess, when when shit hits the fan, like it did in the last episode as Miner. Uh, it, it, it's those damn sand crabs, man. Once uh, a lot of them stack up, you don't really notice, and then all of a sudden you're taking just a shit ton of damage because uh, they're all hitting you at the same time. Wow, this guy does a lot of damage. I think I'm gonna like this guy if I don't just die right now. Okay, so maybe, you know, put, put the poisons on them and then run away from them. Don't just stand there and take damage while they're being poisoned. I think that's the strategy. Rapid Mitosis reduces the cooldown of you use items. Well, I don't have a use item yet, but that'll be very useful in the future, depending on what use item I do end up getting. I actually didn't end up getting any use items in the last episode, if I recall correctly, so... That's rather unfortunate. That might be one of the main reasons I ended up losing. With the melee characters, you can actually get use items to make up for the fact that they're melee. But that never happened. Okay, so... Look at these poisons. These poisons are pretty cool. I am taking a buttload of damage though, so maybe they're not that cool. I am going to run this way and grab that chest over here in the really off chance that it's a regeneration item, an HP reg regeneration item. And it's a use item, bouncing ba brain. Um, probably my least favorite use item to be honest. Don't really see a situation where this is actually good. I mean, it's doing 37 damage there. That's that's useless. Uh, but we'll, we'll pick it up because we don't have any better ones. We don't have any use items right now, actually. And this is actually a very bad place to be. There are a ton of guys up there, and I don't have any way to get past them. Except maybe... Except maybe doing that, which didn't work at all. Okay, 3 minutes and 38 seconds, that's unacceptable. We're trying again. I know I said one life per episode for this, but that was like, that wasn't even a life. That was pretty much like, hey, what does this character do? Oh, I'm dead. So, you know, here we go again. 
Oh man, hopefully I do a little bit better this time. I need to... I need to get it into my head that he doesn't have like an escape move other than splooge on the ground and run a little bit faster. That's not really an escape move in my opinion. <sighs> it's more of an offensive ability since it damages all the enemies. Maybe I need to stop thinking about that. Maybe I need to only use it as a defensive ability. But in any case, we're gonna we're gonna try again. Hopefully, I do a little bit better in this life. Uh, okay, so this is actually my favorite use item right here. So I think that's gonna be our target for our first purchase. And I think if I open that and I kill this guy, I should have enough for it, and I do. So this is the. Glowing Meteorite. Rain meteors from the sky hurting both enemies and players. And, uh, yeah, it hurts a lot. <laughs> but it, it kind of shows where the meteors are going to explode. So you, the player has a chance to dodge it, but the enemies... Well, the enemies have a chance to dodge it too, but they don't do it consciously, you know what I mean? They, they're chasing you, so they're not, like, trying to dodge the meteors, but sometimes they just do it because they were moving anyway. But, yeah, it this, this lasts the whole game. No matter how long you play, 90 minute playthroughs, 120 minute playthroughs, it'll always be amazing. So, it's a really good pickup on the first level here. It'll really get us out of some sticky situations. I wish I had it on the minor playthrough because I really think I could have... I, I at least could have beat that level that we died on. But, in any case, we have it now, and that's all that matters. I'm gonna check up here for the teleporter first. Just because, in my experience, it's not usually down down below and to the left. I already checked all of the areas to the right, I believe, so... The only other possibilities are up here and down to the left. And, like I just said, it's not usually down to the left, so... Yep, there it is, up here. So we're gonna use it, and hopefully we're gonna stay alive for 90 seconds. <laughs> Probably not the case, as it wasn't the case last time, but... Hopefully, we'll see an improvement. Alright, so I'm gonna use the meteor. See those blue things? Those are what explode, and those are the meteors. And just look at the carnage. Look at the carnage it brings. Look at how devastated the Colossus is, and look at how many people it killed. It was... it was incredible. It's incredible. And it just... it stays incredible for the entire game. I need to... I don't... I keep forgetting what button does what. Okay, so that's a new item. I've actually never seen that item before. Let's run and pick it up real fast. Golden gun. More gold, more damage. Okay. That's, uh... That's interesting. I guess that bar next to me kind of shows how much bonus damage I'm getting from it. This is really cool. This has the potential to be... Incredible, I think. I, it does make me want to save all my money until the end of the, the waves, though. Which probably will end up biting us in the ass. Because if you don't get items, you're probably gonna die. You know, damage isn't everything. I need to also be able to survive. So... As cool as this item sounds, I'm probably not gonna use it to its fullest potential. Just because I do want to live through the waves. So let's use this. Tough times, reducing coming damage by 14%. One of my favorite items. Glad to have it. And... Meat Nugget. Enemies drop chunks of healing meat. I uh, don't really like it. Not one of my favorites, but that's okay. Okay, so the imps all went in a pretty good direction. Let's see if we can't just poison them all. Oh, that's bullshit! I can't get the item! It's too high! Oh, that's frustrating. I shouldn't have jumped once, I guess. God damn. Oh, well, hopefully I'll get this one. And it's a much worse item. Ah, oh, man, that's unfortunate. So the item we're missing out on there is, uh... It just gives us a chance to crit. Just a passive chance to crit. And, uh, that's... One of my favorite items in the game. Just because, you know, dealing double damage sometimes. When is that ever a bad thing? I... <laughs> I guess if... Okay, and we get another golden gun? That's... That's interesting. You know, the first time I've ever seen this item, we get two right in a row. Uh, it'd, it'd be interesting if the 
kind of random seed for this game was generated based off of something on your computer, like maybe your system clock, what time it was or something. Uh, I, I don't think it is. I have no information to, to, that tells me that it is, but it'd just be interesting to, to know how they, like if it was a truly random seed or if they got it somehow to uh, have some sort of, I don't know, consistency. But uh, yeah, that's that's the end of the level. We spent most of our gold. Uh, we have some items. <laughs> I don't really know how well we're going to do with these items. We do have, in my opinion, the best use item in the game. So that's definitely going to pull us out of any sort of rut we'd get in with all of these passive items we have. But I don't know if it's going to be enough. You know, best case scenario, you get good use items and good passive items. I don't really know how well we're going to do with just one of those two. So we're going to try to rush the teleporter this time. No no farming levels, no none of that. We're going to we're going to rush the portal if we can find it. I'm hoping we find it soon though. We are on difficulty easy. I don't want to hit medium before starting the teleporter. And I know that sounds... Okay, here it is. Never mind. Stay alive. 90 seconds. Can we do it? I think we can. I'm, I'm feeling good. Uh, except it's Magma Worm. Doesn't seem like a very good... I'm going to use the uh, the Meteor right here. Just to kind of clear up some of this Riff Raff. I don't know if we can poison Magma Worm, actually. That's, that's upsetting. I do think he becomes invulnerable once he goes back down. So, this might be actually the worst boss to fight as this character. Might be- yeah, see look at that, he's not uh, he's not poisoned anymore. That's- that's unfortunate. We uh, I guess we'll just have to deal with it, but, you know. You know, so this is- this is where I guess co-op comes in handy. Your- your teammate can kind of make up for your lack of damage to this boss. Man, that's unfortunate. That seems like kind of a big oversight that you can't poison Magmorm. This kind of gimps this character on this boss, in my opinion. But we'll make do. Uh, we are taking him down pretty quickly. A lot easier than I had I, than I took him down with uh, what's his name, Miner. And we get the Keeper's Secret. Uh, definitely a good item to have in a pinch, but not not the best item in the game by far. Um, I might end up killing myself here with the Meteor Storm. Uh, no. Okay. Good. I almost killed myself with the Meteor Storm, but I didn't. So, that was actually a good play. And here we go, mopping up a lot of the characters. We have 11 left. I don't think these guys can hit me while I'm above them. So, we'll abuse that. We'll open this chest. Guardian's Heart. Gain a shield. Your shield recharges when out of combat. It kind of, this essentially gives us over health. So, once I get fully healed, which probably won't happen for a very long time since I don't have any regen items besides the Mysterious Vial, but once I get fully healed, you'll see that my health will say something like 470 out of 402, and uh, that's because of the Guardian Shield. Really useful item to have, especially for a melee character, because uh, I am going to be kind of in the fights all the time and taking a lot more damage than if I was ranged. So what are my impressions on Acrid so far? As a character, I really like him. I, I, I like the idea of stacking poisons. It seems really cool. But I don't really see how... I, I, I don't think he's good. Really, I don't think he's as good as, say, the Miner. Or I actually haven't, uh, actually haven't played as the other melee character yet. But I do think the Miner is probably the best of the three. So we're going to see if I can't kill those last two enemies with this Meteor Storm so I don't have to go all the way up there. It doesn't look like it, but it was worth a shot. Might have saved me a trip. Uh, I think I'm going to buy a gasoline here. Gasoline uh, killing enemies sets the ground on fire. It, it kind of makes it easier to kill groups of enemies, since if one of them dies in the group, it's going to light the ground on fire and deal damage to the rest of them. And two enemies left. Here's one. He's dead, the other one's over there, but I am going to open this chest first. 
So I keep forgetting <laughs> what button does what. Okay, so 56 leaf clover, elite mobs have a chance to drop items. This is the item I was talking about, I think, in my last episode, that once you get to the part where the enemies get really difficult, they are called elite enemies, and they have a chance to drop items now. This is actually really huge. Basically, you can get incredibly good items without having to buy them. So I think that might actually synergize really well with my golden gun, or whatever it's called. The item I got two of on the first level. That I've actually never got before. So here we are in Ascension Valley. This is probably my favorite zone overall, just because uh, you get to fight Ifrit, and Ifrit is awesome. He's kind of an easy boss fight, to be honest, but I don't know, just the fact that Ifrit's in this game really makes me happy. We'll see if he see if he shows up. Probably not, now that I talked about him. It's probably gonna be Magma Worm again, but uh, <laughs> I actually don't know if Magma Worm can, can spawn on this level. Hopefully not. Hopefully it's a new boss, but I do know Colossus, Imp Overlord, and Ifrit can spawn on this level. I'm not too sure if anyone else can. I didn't want to jump off there. This could be very bad. It only did 21 damage. It wasn't very bad at all. So I used Meteor Storm for, uh, for some reason. I, I guess it was kind of a panic move on my part, but I was like, oh, I better use Meteor Storm. I'm having flashbacks to win when you're on the harder difficulties and enemies are just constantly spawning. This is nice, kind of having six or seven enemies on screen at once. So here's the teleporter, We're using the teleporter, and Imp Overlord. No Ifrit, that is unfortunate, but we'll, we'll take it. At least it's a, uh, at least it's not Colossus, right? Could have been, could have been worse, because it could have been an enemy we've already fought. So this, okay. These, uh, these Tundra Giants, or whatever they are, those uh, Clay Golems, I think that might actually be their correct name, but the Clay Golems do a lot of damage, and everyone everyone here is doing a lot of damage to me. I, uh, I only have one Tough Times, that's that's only reducing my, my the damage I take by 14%, and I don't really have any other defensive items other than the shield, but like I said before, that only kind of gives us overheal. It doesn't really help us once it's gone. So this could be this could be hard. I do have Meteor Storm off cooldown now, so I'm gonna use that, and hopefully it cleans up a lot of these guys. Like just just look at the damage it's doing. It's it's such a good item. We'll kind of poison all these guys, then keep running. Open this chest. Hermit scarf, chance to evade attacks. This could be huge. This could potentially save our lives uh, more than once. This could save our lives over and over again. There's a ukulele up there. Okay. How am I how am I gonna beat this guy? I need to get more poisons on him. That's that's what I need to do. I need to get more poisons on him. I need to grab this ukulele, and then I need to get more poisons on him. So we're gonna use that, then that. We're gonna kill all those guys. We're gonna roll the roulette here, see if we can't get a better item. We got another hermit scarf. Okay, so an even bigger chance to evade attacks. I, I actually think these Hermit Scarves and this Leeching Seed, da dealing damage heals you. The items we got on this floor might actually make this run possible. And that's that's saying something. You don't normally get all the items you need on, on one floor. And uh, these aren't all the items we need, but these items definitely kind of bring the hope back to this run. Before we were kind of like <laughs> on a wing and a prayer that this, this Meteor Storm would kind of pay out every time we used it. And so far, it kind of has. I, I will go as far as to say that so far, this Meteor Storm has been absolutely perfect and really helped us out. But, you know, how much longer can that, can we really rely on that? We need to, we need to kind of beef up ourselves here. Um, we're down to four enemies. I am going to play this shrine a couple times. In my experience, shrines have a chance to pay out with the best items. I did just fail it three times in a row and now I can't afford it anymore, but I think it was worth it for the potential of getting something like a Wicked Ring. Or this Explorer's Key. Okay, so the Meteor Storm is kind of what made us get this far. But this Explorer's Key... Hmm, what the Explorer's Key does is it unlocks all the chests on your screen without using any gold. So I think if we have that in combination with this uh, Golden Gun, might be better than the Meteor Storm. Ah, it's... 
It's probably not. 90% chance it's not, but in the off chance that it is. And this way, if I spawn right next to a chest, I can open it right away in the level. So the Explorer's Key, I think, is a good pickup. Hopefully it makes us, uh, it allows us to beef up a bit more as well. And, you know, who, who knows? The Golden Gun might actually increase our damage by, you know, an incredible amount for having more gold, so... I've, I've actually never never got this item before, so I don't know how effective it is, so... It'll be nice to kind of experiment with it. Plus, I use Meteor Storm all the damn time, so... I know I haven't on camera yet, but... Every time I play off-camera, it's just like, Oh, Meteor Storm, I'm gonna save this for the rest of the game, so... This is kind of exciting for me. <laughs> Maybe not for you guys, but for me. This is uncharted territory. I've actually only seen the Explorer's Key drop once, and uh, I used it for... Probably about, you know, three minutes, and then and then I failed. So hopefully, hopefully we can hold on to it a little longer than that. This is at minute 15 now. The difficulty has changed to hard, and uh, we're we're about to experience some some tough shit here. This is kind of the the first zone where if you're not prepared. You're gonna find out fast, and uh, most of that, most of that's deal gonna be because of these flying guys. With all the the previous enemies, if you were if you're in a bad spot, you could just kind of climb on this, and and you were fine. But the flying guys won't let you do that anymore. So we're gonna have to play a little bit more carefully. So the teleporter's not down there in that lower level. Uh, there it is up there. Actually, we're gonna try to find a chest before before we open the teleporter. I'm actually not taking much damage from the the adults there. That's what the kind of white cloak monsters, I guess. That's what those are called. They're called adults in the bestiary, I guess. But they they seem to not be doing damage to us, and that's 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 really good. They usually do a considerable amount of damage, not not a lot, but enough to notice and not to not enough to not be able to just stand there and tank it. But it looked like we could just kind of stand there and tank it, uh, which is odd. I I am wondering if like the characters have passive differences, like if if certain characters are just beefier and take less damage to begin with, or if certain ones do more damage. I'm not too sure. The only difference I know of is the starting HP they have, and then the kind of kit, the four ability kit. So I actually don't think there's any treasure chests on this this map. That's uh that's terrible because we kind of threw away our trump card in the off chance that this this explorer's key would pay out. And if there's no treasure chests, it's not going to pay out. That's that's terrible. This is uh that might be the decision that ends this run, unfortunately. We'll we'll activate the teleporter and and try to do this but I'm uh, I'm not feeling too good about that that trade now so toxic beast basically I have to find this toxic beast as fast as possible or else it'll just keep spawning little ads and here it is so that was that was easy said easy done I guess we're gonna just try to poison this toxic beast with as many poisons as we can and hopefully not die here because that would suck Okay, so we're gonna leave the Toxic Beast for now, and just kind of try to live. Ah, these snipers! Okay, so Timekeeper's Secret, saving my ass right there. I mentioned how it's not the best item, but how it does save lives, and uh, that's an example of it saving life. So, we're gonna play this shrine in hopes that it pays out right away. Nope. And we're gonna play this shrine. Oh, spread epidemic to 25 enemies. I unlocked some new new item, so that's that's good. If we die here, this run isn't a complete waste of time. At least we know that, right? But we're gonna we're gonna try not to die here. If I keep pushing the wrong button, though, doesn't look too good. Man, epidemic is doing work over there. Spread some poison along their trail. Spread epidemic again. Use our other poison again. 
And then I'm gonna drop down. Just to kind of get away from all those uh, adults and deal with these flying guys. And more adults spawned. That's, uh, <laughs> that's not what I planned. Hopefully we can deal with them. I'm gonna put all my poisons on them. I don't think they can come in here. Let's cheese them. That's my new strategy. Cheese them. Okay, 30 enemies remaining. The teleport timer is done, and that means we just have to clean up now. I am gonna buy this item. I'm gonna do less damage because of it, but hopefully it's something good. Come on. Infusion! Okay. So I mentioned before, killing an enemy increases health, your maximum health permanently. And uh, that's, that's huge. Let's go back here and kill this enemy. Or, oh, there's actually a lot here. Okay, so we can... Now, this is actually kind of a, a next level strategy. We can see Toxic Beast keeps spawning these guys. We can actually farm them for a bit. Just to increase our max health by, by a lot. I don't think I'm going to do that because that's probably really boring to watch. <laughs> but I, how about I just don't rush through this cleanup of the mobs. And uh, hopefully I don't die. Jeez. I'm going to go up here for a bit. That, uh, man, I think it's these blob guys that are doing a lot of damage to me. Hopefully I can just poison them to death. The blob guys do split up into smaller blob guys once you kill them, so they're a little bit annoying to deal with. They know, I don't, I don't know if they, I don't know if it was these blob guys that were doing damage to me. They don't seem to do damage other than that one spiky move. I don't know, man. Oh, we got another guardian heart. That's that's really nice. More, more overheal. And we got a plasma chain. Chance to tether yourself to an enemy. Uh, that, that's, that's a pretty good item. Pretty good item. I, I like it a lot. I don't know if it does, you know, good damage, but I just I feel like it helps. And the, the damage... The items, not the damage, what the hell does that even mean? The items that, you know, make, make it feel like they're helping, I think, are a lot better than items that actually help. Okay, so it seems to be the, uh, the enemies, the toxic beast spawn, are actually the ones doing a lot of damage to me. Those little tiny black uh, pig things. Those guys right there. Okay, I shouldn't stop when they're chasing me. Barbed wire. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That hurts enemies that I get close to. If, uh, if I didn't mention that before. Oh man, that almost killed me. I need to kill this toxic beast. But he has so much HP. Nope, he's gonna kill me. He's not gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. I'm gonna die from fall damage. Nope, I died from the adult. God damn. So I honestly don't know what I could have done there. There was just too many, too many enemies. And the toxic beast had too much health. And I don't know how to play this character. So I know those are a lot of excuses, but... I, I just don't see a way out of that situation. Maybe if I had more regen items, I could have kind of sat back and healed and then gone in and killed a little bit and then sat back and healed again, but in my current state, I don't think that was possible. In any case, I tried my hardest with Acrid. I, uh, I unlocked this, whatever it is. It's a new use item. Uh, you can tell by the orange, orange uh, outline on it. And uh, just for, just for kicks, let's check out his other his other achievement, spread 10,000 feet of caustic sludge. I'm gonna guess that's total, and not <laughs> in one one run, because it seems to only last like three seconds, but we'll, we'll go for that next time we play Acrid. And yeah, let's, uh, I don't think it actually tells you what the new items you unlock do. Yeah, I gotta pick it up first, but, you know, golden gun, We first time we saw that item. Up to 40% damage at 700 gold. Okay, so that's good to know that it does have a cap. So I don't have to kind of save up more than 700 gold to get its full, full worth. But uh, in any case, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, feel free to give it a like. And if you like content like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel to see more videos similar to this one. And, you know, thanks again for watching, like always. And I'll see you next time.